Welcome to Electron Online, and here our next topic, still dealing with heat and enthalpies, we're going to look at the heat of dilution. In other words, when you take a solution or a solvent that has a solute in it, and you add additional solvent, for example, you add additional water, the enthalpy change takes, there's an enthalpy change that takes place, and typically the the enthalpy change is negative. In other words, heat is released when that happens, which is kind of interesting. So why does that happen? Why do you have like a certain concentration of a, a solvent with a solute in it? And as you add more water, more solvent, the energy level of the system goes down. It releases heat. And of course, that released heat goes into typically the, the solvent and the solvent heats up. So what's really happening here is let's say we have some negative and some positive ions in water. And so the water is a polar molecule. So it has the positive side on the hydrogen where the hydrogens are at. And the negative side is where the oxygen is at. So negative and positive like so. And this is a negative, negative, and this is positive and positive. So the positive end of the molecule, the water molecule, will tend to attract itself to the negative ions in the uh, solution and the negative ends of the water molecules will attract to the positive ions in solution. And so what happens then when you add more solvent, you just provide more of these water molecules for each ion that's present. And so you have many more of these uh, water molecules surrounding the negative ion in this fashion, and you'll have more water molecules surrounding the positive ion in this fashion. And what happens then is you end up with a lower energy state. So more solvent is added, that results in a lower energy state. So the delta H of dilution typically is a negative quantity. With other words, it's an exothermic reaction and heat is expelled into the solution. Heat is taken away uh, from the uh, ions and it's, uh, or energy is taken away from the ions, which will result in the heating up of the solution. Now you may wonder why, why does it do that? Well, one way to look at it is, let's say that we have a large positive charge right here and a small negative charge. And what happens when you take the small negative charge and bring it closer to the positive charge? Kind of like what's happening here. When you put more negative charge close to positive charge, you have a situation like this. Now, the positive charge has an electric field around it, and so that means that the potential, the electrical potential around this charge increases as you get closer to it. So the closer you get to a positive charge, the greater the electrical potential. Now, the potential energy is equal to the potential times the charge that you bring in closer. And notice the charge you bring in closer is going to be a negative charge, which means as you bring a negative charge in closer, the potential energy was going to go down, just like this. So as you bring the charge in closer, the potential energy goes down. So you get less and less and less potential energy. Where does that potential energy go? It gets expelled and turns into heat. Now, how do you get that to uh, go back to its original situation. If you then want to go ahead and pull these, these uh, water molecules away from this charge, then you have to put in work. You have to put work back into it to make that happen. So when you allow the water molecules to come close to the ions, you release that energy, you go to a lower energy state, and that lower energy state, that difference in the energy then gets put into the solution and heats it up. And so therefore, the delta H, the enthalpy of dilution, is typically negative because of this action. And that's pretty interesting.